Ooh, this is a challenge topic. Quite an interesting one. Potential meters, guys. A circuit shown. Battery of in a uh, negligible internal resistance is connected in series with a pair of resistors. Very good. Internal resistance make things complicated. The circuit is used to test whether the EMF of the cell is 1.5 volt or not. So they're talking about this cell right here. Is this 1.5 volt? Question mark. The cell is connected between terminals X and Y and parallel. Okay. Before we go to the statements, I want you to know something about this. When they are, when when you have a circuit to test whether it's 1.5 ohms, uh, sorry, volts or not, that means the potential difference across here is 1.5 volts. If this matches the potential difference x y across the battery, if it's the same R, that means this will have zero deflection or zero current. La. That's how you can use this circuit to detect. Okay, If zero deflection, oh yes, it means VXY is 1.5 volts. It's designed to be that way. These are what potential meter uh, circuits do. Okay, uh, zero, deflec this, uh, sorry, zero deflection means that V2, which is from the R2 here, equals to VXY. Balance. Both sides are balanced. So which statement about the test is correct? Any non A says any non-zero reading on the galvanometer means the cell has an EMF of 1.5 volts. No, that's not how it works. You need a zero reading. Then you know it's 1.5 volts. So no. Cancel this. B. The battery does not need to have an EMF of 6 volts. No, it's kind of specifically designed that way. S this 6 volts is linked to how much will be here. And we want it to be 1.5 volts so that it balances out. So that you know when it balances out with the VXY. So you gotta have 6 volts there. So does not need to have? Nay. We need this. We need 6 volts. It's fine-tuned. Exactly, so that we can do our balancing, find the balance point. C, the cells may be connected either way around between X and Y. Um, it makes a difference, you know. You can't just simply switch the battery cells on this side, positive, negative. No, you can't do that. Either way around. Because you are changing, if you do that, you're changing the potential structure of that whole part. Positive, negative, high potential, low potential. Now, you can't just simply change the cell. No, 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 no. D. The galvanometer does not need a scale calibrated in amperes. What actually is a galvanometer? It's kind of, it, de it, it detects charge flowing. If there's charge flowing, the needle will point. So, if you see it currently it's pointing up, that means no current. If the galvanometer is pointing to the left, that means, oh, there's current flowing from right to the left. You don't really need to know how many amperes of current though. You just need to know, is there current or no current? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think we need... We don't... There's not need a scale, yeah. We don't need a, we don't need amperes. We just need to know deflection or no deflection. That's all we need to know. So, best choice here will be D for this potential meter question. Okay? So, I would call this a level 2 question. Especially if you're not very familiar with how potential meter circuits work. Got any questions? Just comment down below or help someone else if they have a question down there. Okay, last few questions in the next two videos.